<clears throat> Shalom, beloved. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to point out something here. And I've noticed in the past week that Rabbi Blazerson's put out two videos mentioning um, Nibiru or Planet 7X, also known as Wormwood. Um, and this one, you can see he has Nibiru here. It's in the text where Balaam uh, is told what will happen to his people in the latter days. You see the end of days or the latter days crossing Nibiru. Uh, he's also got in his video right next to it in vertical is the warning. There's also a, uh, a year in here. 2016 is in here as well. <clears throat> but I find it interesting that he is citing things about Nibiru, which tells me, and he, and he even says in the video, um, it's another another Jewish man who is searching codes, <clears throat> uh, found this table. So they're obviously looking for the very same thing that I am. Um, but he also sounds concerned that that's the thing. It's not the fact that he's looking for the same thing that I am. That's happened before. It's his concern in his, in his voice about it. Um, but I've, I've got it, uh, this forward in like two minutes and 25 seconds because he talks about something so hard or maybe it's one of the rabbis. Um, uh, and numerology stuff. So I got it fast forwarded just really to the point where he has the, the table shown. Um, but I also have it. Here it is here. Uh, reconstructed. Uh, this is the very same, very same one. I told you it's a very small skip. Uh, width is 39. Uh, there, it's a cylinder. You see there's a margin on either side here. Uh, it means a very cylinder, uh, slender cylinder. Um, but we got, here we got Nibiru with uh, the warning and uh, the star. Uh, of course, again, this is where Balaam is told uh, what will happen to his people in the latter days. Uh, up at the top, I have found the words is seen. So it is seen. Uh, also, the son of Jesse is here, which is Yeshua and Wormwood down at the bottom. So we got seen, is seen and Wormwood with the warning. I get what I'm saying here, folks. Uh, this is not conjecture or just running with some sort of sensational uh, story of the day. Um, my path crossed with the Nibiru thing, looking for wormwood. And here, I, you know, I find other people look looking for something called Nibiru, and it it occurred to me one day that this is one and the same. And so uh, here you go, right here, and I've shown you a confirmation, a validation of what Gil Broussard has said with the models. From the Bible that he's used to shoot to show uh, Nibiru is, uh, is a credible threat. There's going to be people out there who say, "Oh, whatever." We've been hearing about this for years. Da, 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 da. Folks, don't you know the end of days is technically about 150 years? So really, for 150 years they've been saying uh, the end is near. That's no joke. That, that's serious. You can find old uh, newspaper f photos and there'd be some little guy on the corner with uh, repent now the end is near. Uh, black and white photos from 100 years ago. And here we are saying the same things. Well, this is the thing. The time of Daniel, talked about in, in Daniel, where knowledge is increased and man runs to and fro. That included the industrial revolution back in the days of jp morgan and uh some of the steel guys 
Standard Oil, all of that is when it began. An explosion. Transportation and communication in technology culminating to a point now. I do believe the sign in, of, that was of Jonah has some connection to Nibiru. I've found it in the codes. I also know that Nibiru or Planet 7X or whatever this is, because who is in control of these planetary bodies? Let's keep that in mind. If he uses those, as he says in his word in Genesis, for signs and for seasons, he can also use it for judgment. Then he indeed created whatever it is. And whatever man has seen recorded in history over and over again around the same cycle of years. <clears throat> And then you see governments of the world doing peculiar things. Uh, markets collapsing. Um, trade stopping. Folks, I don't care if you call me crazy. I don't really care if I appear out of my mind. Wacky, lunatic, whatever. Uh, I do believe that you always called me to be a watchman. And he's given me a, a gift of looking at things encoded. And when I find current events or things that are probable encoded, and someone else is finding it that has no even bit, no business, this is not even something that the orthodoxy is even believes in or into. But the fact that they're concerned about it and looking. For the very same things. You know. If they're seeing me. In my videos. And they say. Oh. In the bureau. And looking. Themselves. And finding it. As a confirmation. Folks. You should have been. Preparing. Uh, already. This is not. Uh, this is not a drill. This is not. Uh, conjecture. This is not. Uh. This is not even fun to talk about. This is there's some staggering information in here. I mean, that's just one example. Now, here's the other thing. He posts another one. Dale Perlman, 5776, 2016. The star Nibiru in the Bible code, Glaterson. And again, he finds... Nibiru in here with son of Jesse. You see, he has son of Jesse here. Uh, and then I went and found son of Jesse in the, the other table because this, we're talking about two tables now. This is, he, he found Nibiru in a table he was looking at about Purim, folks. And by the way, in the story that we're talking about here, Purim and Esther, Haman, the destroyer, who wanted to come and kill all the Jews. And what happened? It was turned around on him. Uh, so he's con he's a biblical destroyer. He wanted to destroy the whole nation. All of them. He wanted to kill every one of them. It's the Antichrist spirit. The same spirit Hitler had. Um, and it's there. And he's found it in his table here. You can see up at the top here uh, in the day of Purim, which is horizontal. Uh, he's got, um, where is Nibiru at? Oh, we have to run the video because it's not seen here. I'm just noticing some things I didn't notice before about his table, which happens. Um, listen, since this has come out, I've dig, dig, and dig deep into the very text that he's looking at. And then even in the moments that I'm doing the video, because there are times where I hold off on doing the video because I don't feel like that I'm prepared yet, but there's still things that i got to see. And then the moment I'm doing the video, I see something else. 
So, uh, this is a big thing, folks. Um, I absolutely believe the worm is, is close. And they're gonna, it's going to be called Nibiru. Uh, and this is not based on uh, you know, Stitchens and Anunnaki. Uh, this is based on Sumerian text that Stitchens got its hands on. So this was this is something that has been around for a long time, folks. Um, for a long time, it's tied to the dragon. Um, there is something that's gonna. And I saw this in Revelation when I when I'm in my many times of reading Revelation, realized that there is a when he's given that vision, it's is a point on earth and there's points in heaven and it goes back and forth. And, and what you, what happens in heaven is manifested on the earth in some way, in physical ways. So when, when the, when Satan is cast out, there's a physical manifestation that happens. Um, there's a pit that's open. There's something that hits the earth. Uh, there's things that come out of the pit. I mean, there's reactions to the action that happens. Uh, yeah, maybe it's simultaneous, I don't know. Um, but it's clear to me, uh, this is tied. This is tied. And when it talks about the dragon, how does it put? I'm going to paraphrase in here. Smote a third of the moon and the stars in the earth, sun, moon, and the stars. So that tells us that there's there's a trailing of debris or something that are, is impacting these planets. Um, and this could be it with, uh, and I was looking for this in, in the comments, if you recall, Sunny Spring, Ison, there, something had to happen with a planet, there'd be debris, and we pass through it, and here we go with again, uh, another scenario where it's a possibility of, of a planetary body going around the sun, and we pass through the debris that fits the pattern, um, and incidentally, those comments were, it were harbingers, Nonetheless, even if there wasn't something that happened on those days or on the days of the blood moons, the harbingers of something coming. And this is what I think is there, folks. Um, so there's there's several tables I'm looking at. I want to get back to um, the abomination of desolation. I do a, another. You see the, the verses here. So we're going to do another video on that. But there's others developing, like I got this one. Uh, it's also from from the rabbi, which is, uh, in the day of trouble, he will come. It has Obama's name right next to that with Pharaoh. But just on the other side in the green, we got in the days of, uh, as is in the days of Noah, like Yeshua said. But it's also interesting that you got the Biru and blood moons. In an angle, in a very same skip in this. So I'm excited about what's developing here. Um, and see, when you got so many working at one time, and you're going back and forth, and then you have other things that you have to do, uh, like working on this farm, and uh, the 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 other things that we do here, uh, I have to break it up and you know, my time up in each one of them, and. Uh, eventually get to a video so if it takes me a while to get to a video folks I apologize for that but um, I need more time in the codes is what it is and I just don't have it and, it's, and speaking of working on the farm and doing things folks um, commerce has stopped in the world so the, I'm having trouble getting lamps in so those of you that are still waiting and I know you've been waiting a while but there's things happening in the world that I have no control over um, when I get those lamps in, then I can get my six orders that I have currently waiting out. Uh, so, guys, uh, I'm, I apologize for the wait. You will be getting a free gift, uh, at least a $20 gift in your um, your package when you get it. So, I just want to plug that in and let you know. Please forgive me on the delay. Uh, another here, uh, the Star Nibiru. Here's another one that's developing that I'm looking at. It's also got a year. Um, 2016, also connected to Wormwood. You got 20, um, excuse me, 2016's vertical, 2015 horizontal, and Wormwood horizontal here with the Destroyer. And then some other things that I'm finding here. Uh, again, I need time in these codes, folks. And, and time is running out. 
um, World War. Uh, this is the yellow part. It's just an extension that I'm working on. But I found war all three times, all in one line. You know how it's been a pattern of three? Here it is in, in one line. So that's still developing. In the days of Noah is down at the bottom. And, uh, of course, I just did a video on this, and we talked about it. It's the coming of the snake, um, and the things that are going on here um, seem to confirm the year, 2016. Here's the thing uh, I said before. Even the rabbis don't know for sure if we're in the Jubilee or if we're still in the Shemitah. So there's there's that. But there's also that they, they start the year in, at the seventh month, which is wrong. Uh, it is the month of Abib or Nisan, uh, which is coming up here pretty soon. And there's a, there's a solar eclipse connected with the first day of the year. And I think it's going to be some significant things happen around that. Um, the reason why the, the, the rabbi did a video about Purim and Nibiru is because uh, it just so happens that people are expecting... Um, the Bureau, the day after Purim start, uh, begins. So, uh, that's why he's got a, um, a table on it. I found Gil Broussard. And here he is in here. And I don't know why, uh, you wanted me to, to go and find him. But, uh, he did. And it, he's here eight times. And, uh, Gil doesn't even know I'm, I'm doing this. I have not informed him that I found him. But I think, he uh you want someone that or somebody to see that he did, that he's got his hand on him that he's anointed him with this information uh and here we got Nibiru or planet seven x running right through his name uh Gil is connected right here with Bruce Hard, but also down here in the yellow you got Nibiru and wormwood at the top. With, uh, looks like, I don't even know what that is. This is in Genesis. Looks like we've got judgments of Yahuwah <clears throat> right next to it. <clears throat> so that's another one I'm working on. Um, and again, I'll be doing Abominations of Desolation in a video by itself. Probably after I do this one, I'll go ahead and, and get this one out because I found some more in that one. I don't think this is over yet, just because Obama is coming to the end of his um, presidency. There's nothing to, to say. You know, he won't go on either through martial law. He he stays on as president, or he goes on to uh, the the UN. A lot of interesting stuff in here as well. So, um, be praying for me. Uh, always keep me in your, in your thoughts and prayers because there's always attacks that come. There's computers that I have are constantly trying, someone's trying to breach it. And, uh, oh, very good. In interesting thing, like uh, one of my tables that I try to open, which happens to be um, the Nibiru table that has um, where the time went back is some somehow is corrupted every time i try to open it it freezes and and then when it finally does open when i when i try to search things in there it 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 freezes up or it even makes the, the computer crash only table that does that so that is a concern you know when i see start seeing things like that uh then i know um, somebody is in my computer trying to, to with probably mat, uh, data mining at this point, but then there come a point where they, they just pull the pin on the grenade and try to destroy everything. Uh, that's happened several times. Um, this particular computer's had seven hard drives put in it, so I need your prayers of, of if not protection of me and the family, um, but the data that there's countless hours of data that I have. Um, and it's not just on here. I have it on external as well. But um, when you see, and, and I've seen extensive hacking, when you see that extensive hacking, they, they try to get into your external as well. So anytime I plug it in or jack it in, and I'm kind of afraid to do that right now, they get into the external. So 
No lectures on, well, you need to back up. I've backed up. All right. So, shalom, and I will see you in the next video. Sorry about all the rambling, guys. Uh, I had a lot to say. Yeshua bless you.